Hey everybody, it's Rhonda, and in today's video, I am going to show you how to spread one image across four panels. Yesterday we did the brush stroke design, and I showed you how easy it is to just make one of these brush stroke designs by dropping an image into each one of the panels for four different images. And I had several people asking me, uh, but hey, what if I want to do one image and stretch it across the entire set of panels? How do I do that? So I'm going to show you how to do that today. And it's going to only take a couple seconds. It's going to be a really quick video, but um, it is definitely something that I just completely forgot about yesterday and I should have shown you. Um, so I'm just going to jump right into it and show you how quick and easy this is. All right. So we have our canvas right here, our artboard, and I have my four panels, my templates. And if you don't have the templates yet, um, if you're a member of my paid community, you can get them in there. If not, there's also a link below where you can grab them. Okay. So, um, I have my four panel template open and over here I have this little uh, Easter image with bunnies and a chick inside of an Easter basket. And this is the image I want to spread across all four panels. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at it here and decide how I want this. And I'm thinking I want it pretty much like this. I want my bunnies in the center panels so you can see everything uh, so we get most of the image. So the first thing I'm going to do now is come over here and drop this right inside my far left panel. And you can see what I have here is the part of the image that I really want over here. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to slide it to the right until I have this just about where I think I want it and I'm looking at it and this looks to be just about in the center uh, we're gonna get some of the basket in both the far left and the far right panel and then our bunnies and our chick are right there as well I could come this way a little more but think right about there is where I yeah right about here is where I want it so once I have it where I want this to be I'm just going to double click on it again and it is now dropped in there and we're seeing the part I want to see in the left panel now I'm going to grab that same image again and I'm going to drop it into the second panel and I'm going to double click on it now, if you look closely, you can see the entire image here, and you can also see the panel um, behind it, and you can see the image showing up behind it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this now, and we're going to drag it to the right until our image matches up perfectly. Okay, if you go too far, you can see it gets blurry. If you go too far the other way, it's blurry. So you just want to go very slow until it is matched up perfectly and then double click off of it. And now you can see those are, our image is starting to come together. We're going to do this a third time in the third panel. And again, you can see the images we already have over here in the panels. And you can also see the image we're working on at full size. So this time we are going to slide everything to the left until our image matches up perfectly. And then we will double click and drop it into place. And we will do this one more time drop it into the last panel, double click it, and again we are going to slide it to the left 
until our image matches up. And once we have it in there, right where we want it, we will double click off of it and drop it in. And there is our image stretched across all four panels and it looks great. And now you can add text to it if you want to. You can uh, do whatever you want. I will now, I can now download this and transparent background. And I'm just going to download it at the 1600 by 1600 um, because I'm going to upscale this in my designs before I list it or in Photoshop. Otherwise, you can increase the size of this to 3.125 and it'll make it 5,000 by 5,000 and it will actually be 300 DPI when you open it up in another image software. Okay, so it's up to you how you do it, but you would just download it now. If you want to upscale in Canva, you can grab each one of these images individually and click edit, click image upscale, and you can upscale each one of these panels and then download your file after you've upscaled or like I do, I upscale afterwards in another program. So, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to stretch a single image across all your panels for a cohesive design. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.